So I hate dead batteries. Every day as an automotive technician, I deal with uh, a dead battery of some sort. Either somebody left a key on, comes in on a tow truck, battery's dead, we gotta jump start them. So a viewer asked me, hey Brian, uh, what, uh, what jump starter do you guys use at the shop? So I thought I would share with you guys what I use. And uh, so what I use is the Genius, the NOCO Genius GB40. It's the one I purchased. And uh, I used to have this old school box here that we used to jump. This thing weighs probably 20 plus pounds here. It's uh, not very safe. It does not have any safety features. So this one has all kinds of safety features. I'm gonna walk you through all the safety features, how this is used and why I purchased it. The main reason why I purchased this is uh, it's extremely easy, extremely small, lightweight, and very safe. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing video on what you get when you purchase one of these. And then I'm gonna walk you through some of the features. Before I walk you through what this little jump pack can do for you, I wanna do a little unboxing to show you exactly what you're gonna get. So when you get your NOCO GB40, so once you get the box open, the inside is gonna be the main unit here. So the first impressions of the, uh, the jump box is it's very light and very small. And then under this little piece of cardboard here, you're gonna find the rest of the content. So it comes with a carrying bag and with the uh, NOCO uh, logo on it. Next up is going to be the 12 volt charge adapter. So you can plug this into any 12 volt power supply that you would commonly find in, your, in a, any vehicle or RV. Then it's going to come with a heavy duty set of cables here. And last but not least is the USB charging cable. So one of the reasons why I picked this particular model is it has a, a thousand amps of available jumping uh, power here. And uh, it's super easy to use. So to turn it on, you just press the on button like this. So it has a, a battery life indicator here. And uh, it has uh, a cool features such as lights. So as you can see, it has a couple light modes. Uh, it has SOS and uh, emergency flashing here. It also has one other feature that we'll talk about in a minute. It's an override feature. And I'll talk, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So on this end here, we've got a, um, a USB out and a USB in. So if you were to hook something up to a USB out, you could use it to charge a cell phone or you could charge anything you wanted to charge. Or, or if you want to use the uh, USB in here. So now you can put the uh, this particular cord came with it. This is the charging cord. So the USB in allows you to charge the unit. So you could plug this into a um, into a computer or into your car and so you, if you had a 12 volt adapter here which this comes with so you could plug this into a, a, a power supply in your vehicle or RV and then you can also use it doesn't come with this but you can use basically any cell phone charger adapter with the USB port and it also comes with a heavy duty uh, cable set here so the, the cables just plug into the unit they only plug in one way so you plug it in like that. So one of the cool things about this uh, jump pack is the, the built-in circuitry, it doesn't, um, it doesn't allow arcing to happen. So when you hook these up, so I'm hooking you up to the positive, to the positive, negative, negative. And the, if you notice, there was no arcing. So like, so when you hook this up, there's no spark. Um, you don't see any arcing. So when you got it hooked up, if you just see the light cycling, that means that everything is good to go. All you do is crank your vehicle. So one of the cool features of this particular tool is um, it has a lot of built-in safety features into the circuitry in this, and it senses polarity. So if I was to hook this pe these cables up backwards in reverse, uh, in, a, in a car like this Lexus here, it would totally fry a computer if you didn't have protection built into it. So this senses polarity and uh, it will not it will not send voltage to the battery here. So if I was to hook this up backwards, which I'll demonstrate for you guys right here. So I'm going to, on purpose, hook this car up backwards. And as you can see, it didn't arc out. It didn't cause any problems. So, but also when you, when you notice, if you look at the LED lights here, they're not circulating. That indicates there's a problem. So when you have it hooked up right, and there's no problems you'll see the uh, you'll see it circulate like that and you know you're good to go to, to uh, jump start your vehicle so I wanted to share with you what it looks like with a uh, an old style jump box here if you hook it up wrong what would happen and uh, how dangerous it could be so 
What I did here is put a bolt in the negative cable here and I'm gonna touch the two cables together. And you'll see this large spark here. Now if I had clamped that together, it would be extremely bad. So now I'm gonna hook it up to some cars with some dead batteries and show you how it works. Here I am on an old Ford Bronco here. This is a, uh, I believe it's a 95 Bronco here. And I'm cranking this car and it has no power. The dashboard barely lights up and barely moves. It's really dead. So now I have the NOCO Genius GB40 hooked up to the Bronco here. And we're gonna crank the key and see if it, uh, see if she starts up for us. So this vehicle only had four or five volts in the, in the battery when I went to crank it. And it cranked a little slow, but it did start the vehicle. Here I am using it on a BMW that I was doing some work and the battery went dead. So I hooked up the GB40 to the jump ports and then we jumped in the car and gave it a little crank and it fired right off. Then I had a Mercedes come in on the tow truck. Okay, go ahead and crank it. Do it a couple times. Okay, hold on. After confirming it had a dead battery, hooked the GB40 up to it and gave it a crank and it started right up. So this is all done on one charge. To charge the unit, it takes about three hours. So it's super quick and it lasts forever. So the last feature I wanted to share with you is the override feature. So if you push this button, and the only reason why you would want to push this button is if this battery is below two volts. If it's below two volts, it doesn't uh, sense polarity and it won't, it won't cycle through this and it won't be ready to jump. So you have to do what they call an override. So you would push this button, it overrides the circuitry, then you hook your jump pack up and you're able to jump it. But what I want to warn you about is if you push this button and override, it overrides the safety features too. So if you have these hooked up backwards, it will it will definitely arc out and be so a, you're in the a market for a jump box. I hope this video has helped you out. I will link this up in the description of the video. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.